sit back and meditate. Feeding your DNA, getting you my data. It's the way that I feel every fucking Out. Out. I'm sorry. I how does that happen? Alright guys, I'm Jay and welcome back to Race of Glory. Oh my god! Alright boys and girls, so we've got a bloody juicy episode today, you've read the title hopefully, so you know at least one player that we've picked up, I've got a lot of new players that I've got to show you guys, there's just, this is going to be a crazy episode, okay, so strap yourselves in. Right. <laughs> Before we jump into that though, boys and girls, okay, I've got something very, I mean this is a very special moment on the channel, okay, something very crazy happened on Thursday night. So I'm opening marquee matchups and as usual, I'm getting shit packs and then out of nowhere boys, out of nowhere, no boards, no walkout. Oh, you know what's coming next. French, centre mid. We packed him, boys. We packed, finally. I've been begging for this card for weeks because every time you don't get a board or a walkout, you're like, well, it's a shit pack, except for this one guy. This one lad sells for 30,000 coins and we have packed him, so there you go. Finally packed, 81 rated to Soko. Got 27k for him, so, you know, good stuff. Anyway, enough talking shit, boys and girls. Let's jump straight into our new team. <laughs> Don't do it or I'm gonna- What the fuck?! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Why you calm down? So I did break the news to you guys that we will be making a new team, okay? And here we are. Uh, you're looking at the defense probably and thinking, Miguel. What the fuck is this defense? Alright, it's not ideal and it was not the plan, but I kind of ran out of money. And uh, yeah, just, just you have to bear with me in the defense. We're definitely going to make some upgrades. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, my defense that I've got in mind involves the uh, the 81 and Barbu here on the bench. Who hopefully, hopefully if all players go through, they'll, he'll get more, more special cards and stuff. So that would be cool. But yeah, you'll have to bear with me in the defense. I'm probably going to have to wait till uh, reward day. Maybe we'll get something from Squad Battles Rewards, which will help us towards, towards a better defense. But it's not the worst okay it's not great it's not great small dini's fine uh, pickford honestly has actually been pretty good from what i've used it's just, it's just like it's just like wrong as for zaha boys and girls not a bad player whatsoever but he will be leaving us sadly as we will be getting that boot you know when we can uh when we can when fart swaps are out i think this is going out on the monday so you guys well, I think you guys should know that basically Fart Swaps is coming on Monday for the next round, so uh, I'll get that grind out and we'll get Bootra, so yeah. But I have to say, boys and girls, although my defence is not crazy, the midfield and attack is just, mwah, okay, it is magical. Especially when you consider that Bootra Green is getting added to this attack. Son, Drogba, and Bootra. Oh my god, I'm going to rip people to shreds with that, surely. <laughs> <laughs> so I did play a few games with this team boys and girls and it was really fun like it was really really fun I just really enjoyed it again the defense nothing crazy it wasn't I mean I was conceding quite a lot of goals in rivals I didn't use this in fuck champions I'd already finished all my games Didier Drogba was so much fun boys and girls you're probably wondering like Michelle you really buy Didier Drogba is that really the best striker that you could get I'll have to explain it in a second boys and girls but I'll just let you know he's really really good like he's not the craziest most mental striker he's not certainly not the most meta striker but he is a lot of fun like so much fun to play with as for son i mean this card is broken yeah. for Ron, boys and girls absolutely solid just all-rounded amazing got great stats i'll talk about him a little bit more uh, in the future i'm not going to be reviewing him today's episode so actually i'm going to drop him and we did pick up a delhi alley to play temporarily unfortunately mascherano will be on a chem but i don't want to spoil veron you know i want to do a separate review of him but yeah mascherano is great boys and girls those low high work rates are just incredible he, he stays back and just makes amazing tackles i love him so Soko solid. I don't love Zaha. I mean, he's good, but his finishing is just shit. It's just bad. His dribbling and pace are amazing, though. But when we get Butra, obviously, that's just going to be cancelled out and it's irrelevant. So he's there temporarily. But let's talk about Drogba, boys and girls. Let's talk about why I've picked up Didier Drogba. So we're playing Weekend League. We're doing okay. I'll just say I got gold free again. So that's two weeks in a row we got gold free. Oh. <laughs> We've been getting gold two most weeks and then that, the last two weekends we got gold free. So I'm not playing great and I was just, I was trying to figure out why, like what's wrong, what's what's not going right. This weekend is probably my worst weekend so far and I feel like the reason was is that I sold my Crespo. I obviously sold him for good reason that he dropped him, you know, he was going to drop in price and he did that. So I, I sold him to make the profit. But basically the forwards that I was using, I can't even remember who I was using now because I didn't have Crespo. So I had, I had Overmars, I had Politano. 
and I think, I can't remember, someone's shit, I think. I think it was someone's shit. And it wasn't so much that they were playing bad. Like, Politano was great. I love Politano, and I love Overmars, but I felt like I needed someone strong to hold up the play, and I felt like Crespo was that. I know Crespo wasn't the, the strongest, but he was six foot tall. He'd, he'd win headers from goal kicks, and he, he'd just hold it up and be a really good support player for uh, for, for Overmars and Mo Salah when I had him. So I thought to myself, what we're really lacking, boys and girls, is a really strong hold up player. And I thought, who better than Didier Drogba Hello there. to be a support player for when we get Butra. Like, who better than Didier Drogba Hello to there. hold people off and support Butra Guayna? I thought that just made perfect sense. So yeah, let's talk about the in-games, boys. Six foot two, four star weak foot four star skill moves, high, high work rates. He doesn't get back. Like, I thought he would drop back a lot, but he really doesn't. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was a mild concern for me, but it's not the case. Got 88 pace, boys and girls. 89 finishing, 82 long shots, which are pretty decent. Haven't really tested those long shots out, but that, that finishing is incredible. Also, 89 shot power. This guy... This guy's shot power is insane, boys. Can I tell you something? I love it. Obviously, the main concern for a lot of people with this card is the dribbling stats. And I'll be honest, it doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. It feels like it's not great, but it's not bad either. Like, he, he's very decent on the ball. I, I don't really... It definitely doesn't feel as low as it as what it looks. Like, 80, 71, blah, 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 blah. 71 agility is just no. He just does feel a little bit better than that. Like, I would say he feels more like 80 agility, honestly. I've used more agile plays that feel less agile than, than Drogba. Not that he feels like... He doesn't feel like Politano or Overmars or anything, but he just feels okay. But, boys and girls, those physical stats are juicy, okay? You've got that 91 strength, which is... Oh, mwah, just, just what I need. Exactly. Exactly what I needed to support my Butra when I when I do get him. It's the, the reason we picked him up is that strength and the, obviously the shooting stats and stuff. That gives me a fucking hard on. But yeah, I have to say, boys and girls, he's so much fun to use. Like, if you just want a striker, if you're not looking for the most meta striker, because if you are, I don't know, you and you've got this kind of money, you probably want to be looking at Kenny Dalgleish or I don't know. I'm just off the top of my head. I can't even really really think of it, many meta icon strikers, but someone like Kenny Dalgleish that's agile, fast, you know, good at finishing. Drogba's definitely not that kind of player. But if you want someone that's really good at hold up, really good at shooting, and just you know, just fun more than anything, he's just a fun card. He's definitely that. And my favourite thing about him, from what I've used, boys and girls, when people tried to tackle Didier Drogba, he has none of it. He absolutely has none of it. He just, boof! A flying defender over there. Stop it. He he is so strong that he just pushes 90% of players off the ball. Not screen PK. Screen PK has no problem pushing Didier off the ball because it's screen PK. You know, come on, we gotta set our expectations a bit, a bit more. You know. Stop it. But yeah, just a really fun card, boys and girls. I'm having an absolute ball. How many games have we play with him? Eight games, five goals, five assists. Again, I'm not really looking at this card to score that many goals. I wanted to score, obviously, as a striker. But when I get Butragueno, I wanted to hold it up back to. Play play and play through passes to uh to, to uh to Butra and we've been doing that a lot but obviously the player I'm passing to is Zaha and Zaha's finishing is for me at least is really poor so once I get Butra hopefully we're not going to be missing too many chances and yeah that's that's the plan but yeah boys and girls I don't think there's a lot to say really I mean you know we got this new team I'm pretty happy with it I'm obviously going to be making a lot of changes to the defense but you know I feel like I've been through this and stuff Didier Drogba what a man. I'm loving him so far. I just can't wait to play more games with him. He's just got me excited to play FIFA more than anything. Like, I know, like, a lot for at least a lot of you guys, I'm sure, this game is quite boring. Like, let's be honest. Like, the gameplay is not in the best state right now. It's a very defensive meta. It's not fun to play most of the time. But Didier Drogba, for me, he's fun. He's just a fun card. He, he makes me enjoy the game, which I needed, to be honest. I needed a little bit of a boost. Anyway, boys and girls, I think we stopped talking because I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, hopefully, get some wins show off Didier Drogba a little bit, uh, j just in time for icon swaps. If, I mean, I know this isn't the exact Didier Drogba from the icon swaps, but it's very similar, so you guys will get a good gist if you're maybe thinking about doing Didier Drogba, so that's obviously good for anyone thinking. I mean, a lot of you guys should be thinking about doing that Didier Drogba, because he does look really good. Anyway, boys and girls, let's jump into game number one. Oh! Come on. Oh god, where on earth is my... Oh, okay, this is the problem with my team right now, boys. Is defensively, it's even worse than, I, than it normally is. That's impossible! Okay, nice. Give me that run, Son. He is. What a pass. Sonaldo. This should be an easy sweat to Didier. It's the easiest goal we'll ever see. And Didier, right place, right time. Corner, so much more than that, boys. A great counter-attack. And, uh, yeah. I mean, listen. Anyone would have scored that. Just got to be there. So, good stuff. Oh, what the fuck? This Vardy is broken, boys. 
This Vardy is like he's been destroying me all weekend and we've got to pick him up. I know I'm probably not gonna start him, well I'm not, but we gotta get him for a we just gotta get him, haven't we? He's so broken. Oh, Oh, what a pass! Another sweat? It should be! Let's go! DDA drop with two of the easiest goals ever. I, I see this as an absolute win. What a pass. Over the top to DDA. Look at him. He's, he's actually got pace. Like, he really does. And the turn here. No, is that... It's, it is. It's screen beat. I knew it. I freaking knew it. The second he tackled me. Malquay, what a tackle. Sissoko, fire it into Zaha. Into DDA Drogba. I'm going to absolutely lace one. What a save. Oh, that touch was disgusting from Suarez. Um, what the fuck? Come on, Didier. Let's score ahead of with you. What a ball. Didier! <sighs> Didier should score that, boys. I'm not even going to lie. He should, he should be. Come on, boys. Cross. Into Did. What a pass that is. How have he. Nah, <laughs> how has he saved that? This is bullshit. Control that. Oh, yes. Sent it for days on that turn somehow. Dropper! PK's got to have a day off, man. Oh, what this could be. I need that run, though. Come on. Delhi. Yes! Come on, Son! Great bit of play between Dropper and Delhi Alley. The pass across goal to Human Son from Alley. And that's the that's the equaliser in the last minute. The best word I can say, but uh, we'll describe this was. Boom. Yeah, boys and girls, a great performance from Jogba. He scored two goals. I mean, realistically, the goals he did score were, you know, anyone could have scored. But you do have to be there to score him. And his attacking positioning does, you know, it's very high. So you'd expect him to be there. And he was. He scored two very easy goals. But his all-round play is really nice, boys and girls. And he was really unlucky not to score more. But, yeah, he had that that, that header he really should have done better from. But Justega made a couple of really nice saves. And, yeah, but it was just an overall good performance. You know, he's strong. He's fast. He's got that positioning, finishing. It's because everything about this card, like, uh, to be honest, I really like. I really like this card. So, boys and girls, let's jump into game number two. Oh, what am I doing? That is just one. What am I doing? What's EA doing? It was the worst fucking pass ever. Can we? I've pr literally pressed triangle. I literally pressed the fucking pass button. I swear, man. Oh, this game is BS, fam. I hate it, man. What is this? The ceiling's salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. Good. Counter attack now, boys. Come on. Son. Oh, that's good. Zaha. Yes, Didier. It's got to be. It's really got to be. Oh, what a save. No, it should fall to Son. Why'd he run past? Go on, Son. Keep running. Now play. Look at that for a pass from Droggers. What a pass. Son, can he finish? He should. How? Who is this keeper? Who are these keepers? Dropper. Oh, he's done so well there, Son. Look at that dribbling from Didier. He's moved his keeper out the way. Didier's scoring the easy ones at the minute because, I mean, two sweats and moving the keeper. I can't really truly display the finishing. More than anything with him, I think because he's got really good ball control. You don't necessarily feel the low dribbling as much, like the low agility and balance. Because he's got really good ball control. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Son. Drogba should be. Oh, that finish is amazing from Drogba. What a finish. I love everything about this card, boys. Like, he's just so much fun. Like, if you're not enjoying this game, right, you've been... Do Let's say you're doing the icon swaps. I'm throwing hypotheticals out here, okay? You're doing the icon swaps. You've got all the icon swaps. Go and get yourself Drogba because he's fun. For nothing else. For not because he fits the meta, this and that. Just get him because he's fun. 12 seconds later. There's, there's BS. This game. I blocked. I tackled. And then Vardy fucking... I hate it. I hate the game. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? What the fuck? No! I just... Oh, this game. How is this even happening? Ref. That's right, I've still got it. Drogba hold up. Look at that. That's what Drogba's about for me. I need a bit of hold up. And that's a glorious pass, Drogba! <laughs> Free all, baby. Come on. Game on in the last 10 minutes. Get in there, Drogba. That's the hat trick as well. That's good shit right there. What a pass. Drogba plays Aha. What a pass from Drogba. Just, just 
Just hold it up. Oh, Ref pin! Okay, that's that's it. Ah! Is that two free alls? I definitely drew twice. Did I draw the last game? I felt like I drew the last game free all. So that is going to conclude things, boys and girls. I really, really cannot stress more about this Drogba card. I know he's not a meta player. All right, I understand there are better icons out there if you want someone a bit more meta. But if you just want to have pure fun, you're bored of this game. It's boring the shit out of you. Weak and least shit. Ravs is too sweaty. You've grinded for the icon swaps. Drogba sat there with those, what, 24 icon swaps you need. Go and get it. Seriously, he's, he's just fun. And, and he's still good. I don't He's not like shit and fun. He's actually good and fun. He's not the craziest dribbler in the game, which is obviously sort of like the meta, but he's so much fun. He's fast. Amazing finisher with both feet, uh, makes amazing runs, he's in great positions, uh, he's just a beast more than anything, he's a really beastly player. The only question really is then boys and girls, if you haven't done the icon swaps, if, if, you've, if you're thinking about getting in with coins or you want to get this version, is he worth 1.1 million coins there or thereabouts? Again, in terms of fun, yes, he's worth 1.1 million. Obviously there are better players out there you can get for that kind of money, you can obviously get Mbappe, you nearly can get, well not quite Ronaldo, but you're, you're on your way to Ronaldo, you you can get Son for 600. There are better players. I mean, Son's not better, I'm just saying. There are better players out there, but I just overall have really had fun with this card, and I, I would say he is worth 1.1 million coins. I'm saying it. He's, he's worth a million coins. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys the next time, alright? Peace.